Oh my god. Jesus, bro, what was that? As the final hours of the war were fast approaching, there were only a few key battles that determined the inevitable outcome of another colonial victory. Today we focus on the bloody and brutal meat grinder of a fight, the Warden Great Dam in Howell Country. As much of a waste of resources and men it is to keep throwing at that dam, it would prove vital for the future capture of the Warden Home Square, Basin Sanak, and secure the Colonials another win in this war. When I first joined the battle and saw the state of where we were, I knew it wasn't looking good for us. There was confusion everywhere and no stable command structure, which ended up killing massive amounts of our guys. We had men trapped in a keep around the halfway point on the dam, who were rapidly running out of resources and men while being encircled and eventually all slaughtered. You want to push up to the next bunker? Alright. How about we move up to get some ground on the right? That's what I'm saying. We gotta get some ground on the, on the right. Wanna go infantry? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, use, use this opportunity. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your window, that's your window. Let's go. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. go, go, go. We gotta hold, wheel, hold, hold, hold. We need the wheel. Wheel. Hold the wheel. Everyone get defensive positions looking at the wheel. If we can get 18, we can attack them from here. Jeez, that we have, we have right on their flank here. Yo, if you could poke out and blast one of these in the side, that would be tit. Yeah, yeah. Stickies, cause yeah. we got them. Dude, they are literally they're getting their stuff stuck. Oh, there we go, there we go. Let AT get out the back so they can AT fight. out the back, let's go. I'll cover you. We need to kill these guys. Oh, medic, get him! Holy shit! Oh fuck! Push, 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 get out there, get out there, they're dying. If you have stickies in your inventory, grab some. Level it. Stick it, level it, you can do it from there. Fuck. No, no, buddy. Buddy, no! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you uh, dirty I'm dog. Let me see if I can find a wrench. Jesus, bro, what was that? What do you guys need up here? What do you guys need? Help me, medic. Medic. Anyone have a wrench? Anyone have a wrench? Fuck. Someone. Someone. But as I made my way down to the bunker base at the start of the dam, I knew we weren't going to be able to hold long, as the bunker base had barely any supplies, literally pistols and an RPG, to stop the waves of warden soldiers soon to come. There were some resources at the relic base, but there was no one carting them down, so we started to lose our foothold over the halfway point of the dam. We were getting pushed back fast, so I decided since we were about to lose our entire foothold over the front portion of the city and the dam, I was going to grab a truckload of large caliber automatic weapons so we can at least hold against the infantry. But when I got back, shit really started to hit the fan. 
If I was just five minutes later on those supplies, we would have most definitely lost our entire foothold on the town and prolonged our win for another day. Fuck this shit! At this point everything has gone to shit. We don't have any rifle garrisons and our front bunkers don't even have any portholes to shoot out of. So I grab a large MG and some basic supplies and go and build myself a porthole to shoot out of. And then the slaughter begins. We pushed up to around the quarter way mark of the dam, meeting heavy resistance every inch we tried to take. This nighttime battle was going to be a long, treacherous one, where no one could feel safe. Holy shit, come on bro, you got this. Things started to head downhill, so you sure should know your boy was the one with the RPG. Oh, that's a warden there. Medic, get in the bunker, get in the bunker. Fuck! Medic, in the bunker! Fuck you guys! Come on! Yes! Get out of here! Yes! <laughs> oh jeez. Work like clout work. Uh, 
After painting the dam with the warden's blood, we push up and scavenge some of their gear. Then a bit of incompetence at the front while trying to push behind a tank that wouldn't move even though it was clear. He's trying to turn around. Let's go, go, go. You, you have to take that out. Come on, go. Tank, come on, bro. Oh, Jesus. No, the doc died. I just said. Someone hop on the gun, hop on the gun, go press Q on it. This needs reloaded. And there's no more belts. Check his body, oh, check his yeah, body. Who wants a bane? Grab a bane. Oh jeez, oh jeez, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, kill him. We gotta go out! Oh, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Jesus! What a oh my god. Oh my god. Oh he's 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 hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. After that little escapade we were getting low on resources again, so I decided to go head out and get some more supplies for us. And this motherfucker stole my delivery. Yo oh, bro, you really just stole that one from me? But we fell into the same cycle as before after all of that concluded. After fighting like that for a while, I decided to drop off some sandbags and then go back to our Lodgy town and build a half track for us to mount a gun on top of. Load it up and bring it into the fight. Hey, you want a gunner? Yeah, I need a gunner, bro. No one's, no one's hopping in. Jesus. In the meantime, when this was happening, our boys on the far left side of the map recreated D-Day, bringing in two landing ships and a bunch of troop carrier ships, and took over an island, severely throwing the wardens in a disarray all on the entire left side while we belittled them from the right. Our war waged on for a few more hours until we finally broke through and met up with our boys on the left who were implying pressure onto a smaller bridge downstream. Once we got situated, we launched an assault into their heartland and after a long period of guerrilla warfare, we finally took over their capital. In doing so, securing another glorious win for the Colonials. <laughs> Click on the card to see that. And click on the card to see that.